I'm Larry Anglisano with Aviation Consumer Magazine. So you go in your local avionics shop for a cheap ADS-B upgrade and you walk out with a panel full of latest and greatest Garmin gear. The first question, other than how am I going to pay for this stuff, is what am I going to do with this new technology, including Garmin's Flightstream wireless interface? I'm going to go fly that system in Garmin's retrofitted Cirrus SR22, but before I do, Garmin's Jessica Koss is going to give us an overview on the system. As many customers go into their avionics shop to pursue an ADS upgrade, they'll find that Flightstream 110 and 210 is a reasonable addition to their cockpit that really adds a lot of capability to new and existing units such as the GTN touchscreen series and also the GNS 430W and 530W. In a nutshell, Flightstream 110 and Flightstream 210 allow you to connect your iPad running Garmin Pilot to your existing avionics or your upgraded avionics. We'll take a flight today and we'll show you how Flightstream 110 and 210 can really expand the utility of your aircraft by taking Garmin Pilot from a pre-flight planning phase through in-route, reroute uh, structures and really how easy and seamless Flightstream interacts with the avionics in your panel. One of the major benefits of incorporating a wireless cockpit with Flightstream 210 would be the ability to flight plan while you're at home before arriving to the airport. In this particular example, we are at the Hartford Brainerd Airport and we're going to make our flight to Hyannis in Cape Cod. While we're flight planning, we can leverage ATC proposed routing and here we can see routes that have already been filed between the two airport pairs. In this case, we'll select the most popular, which conveniently loads all the waypoints and Victor Airways that previous aircraft have flown between these two airport pairs. Okay, so we're out at the airplane ready to taxi here, but before we do, we can load that flight plan into the panel navigators that we previously loaded into the iPad back at home. How do we do that? So now that we have our flight plan from Hartford to Hyannis, Massachusetts, we can touch the Connext icon here at the very top. And it detects that we're connected to a GTN 750 via Flightstream 210. We can select Send To. We get confirmation that the flight plan was sent. So now we can come up to our GTN 750. Now let's hold it right there. Now remember, it wasn't long ago that the thought of an iPad wirelessly sending primary navigation data to an IFR certified panel GPS was enough to make an FAA inspector jump out of the polyester, but that was before the FAA implemented guidelines for cockpit cybersecurity. Now in the flight stream certification process, Garmin had approved that its wireless data is safeguarded by several layers of cross-check. Now once that data gets to the panel navigator and the autopilot starts to fly it, the waypoints and their GPS position in the flight plan are verified against the navigator's own certified database. Then it's up to the pilot to acknowledge the data, transfer, and activate it, like this. We have a flashing message button, which we can select. It says that we have one new flight plan available for previews. We can preview that and actually confirm that is in fact the flight plan that we transferred from the iPad. We get the option to store in the flight plan catalog or activate. So today we'll activate it for our flight and now we're ready to go. So we're uh, airborne off Hartford Brainerd heading towards uh, Hyannis, Massachusetts. Now that we're in route, we really get the we have the opportunity to modify our flight plan, whether it's on the GTN, it'll automatically downfill to the iPad, and we can also modify our flight plan, of course, on the iPad, and then send our newly um, rerouted flight plan, if we do get one in route, back to the GTN. All right, let's say we want to revert around some weather. If we long press over our flight plan, select that magenta line, we can actually grab our flight plan and head direct the airport via the Putnam VOR. We can save that. You'll notice that nothing has been modified up here on our GTN 750 yet. Any modifications we make on Garmin Pilot on the iPad will have to send to the GTN. So Jessica, the flight stream uh, also has integration with the GDL 88 ADSB uh, receiver, uh, the hard mount ADSB receiver. How does that work with the uh, flight stream? The flight stream 210 allows the GDL 88 ADSB traffic and weather to also overlay onto our iPad. Here we can see the remnants of Tropical Storm Bill there in the mid section of the country. Traffic. So we're also 
displaying that same ADS-B data on our Garmin GTN 750 uh, display. Is that right? That's right. You can display it on the dedicated traffic page and then also up here on the moving map page. We don't have a lot of traffic in our area, luckily, this morning, but it's full of traffic. Targets in the area. Place Rape 210 also comes equipped with a backup AHARS. So we can display backup attitude information within Garmin Pilot on the synthetic vision page, as well as GPS-derived airspeed and altitude. You can see below we also get navigation information, which similarly resembles what we're seeing on the G500. Well, you can read about the flight stream wireless interface in a future issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Angleton. Thanks for watching. And thanks to Jessica Koss for bringing the airplane all the way here from Kansas.